Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we were looking at Azure's shared responsibility model. All the cloud service providers have a shared responsibility model. They're more or less the same. Um, and so uh, this is just to tell you like what you are responsible for and what Azure is responsible for. This is covered in the uh, AZ-104, the AZ-204, uh, and the AZ-900. And definitely we need to cover this again. Even if you know it, we should go over it again uh, for the SC-900 so that we can think of it in the context of security. So for our responsibilities, we have information, data, devices, account identities, identity directories, applications, network controls, operating system, physical host, physical network, physical data center. And then we have SAAS, PAAS, IAAS, and on-premise, if you forget those terms, the first is software as a service, the so software that uses uh, that you use in the cloud. So think 365, so Word, Doc, Excel, Skype, uh, OneDrive, SharePoint, Dynamics CRM. You know, if, 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 if imagine just all purpose software, but you access it via the cloud. Then you have platform as a service, so deploy apps without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. So Azure App Services, you just have an app, you put it up there, it just works. Infrastructure as a service, so the basic building blocks of cloud IT, so storage, compute, databases, networking, I call that the core four. Uh, you should always know that no matter what cloud service provider you're using. On premise, so data center owned and operated and maintained by the customer. So what we'll do is just show you the blocks here and the blue represents the customer's responsibility, okay? I, I know it's like, do you think like blue would be for Azure, but they made it blue. And I should have really, I should have really um, uh, put a legend on this because I always get confused by that as well. Um, but we're gonna just do that. And this is the customer, okay? So going down below here, look at physical host, networks and data center. So Azure is gonna take responsibility. If you're using IAS, PAS, or SAS, Azure takes responsibility for all the physical stuff. And there's a lot of work there if, if you had to secure that stuff. Um, uh, now, once you get, uh, you go up a bit more. So if you're using an operating system at the pass or SAS level, you're still responsible, or, or sorry, Azure will take uh, more responsibility here. Um, but you know, that's generally broadly how this works. But if we just kind of break it down into three major categories, I'm just gonna clear our board here. It's getting a little bit messy. So, and this, this lines up to these lines. I just didn't have lines in here. But the idea here is this, this is always the responsibility of the customer, everything above here. This is gonna vary per service type, the second tier. And the bottom there, the responsibility transfers by the cloud providers, okay? A few caveats here is that regardless of the type of deployment, the following respons responsibilities are always retained by you. So data, endpoints, account, access management. So just remember those four there at the end, okay?